Hey guys, we're now going to be looking when P equals 37.5 kilonewtons. So we know that we always want to find our maximum moment first. We've seen that the maximum moment is 1.6 P. We've derived that previously. So we're going to find M max equals 1.6 P. In our case, P is 37.5 kilonewtons, which means our maximum moment will be 60 kilonewton meters. Now we want to see where that is in relation to the um, limits of elastic and plastic. So you can see that the M max 60 is between 75 and 50. Okay, so it's between 75 and 50. In other words, our maximum moment is between the plastic limit and the elastic limit. So what this means is that our beam is going to be experiencing elastic plastic. So part of our beam is elastic and part of our beam will be plastic. Just to show you what I mean, if we look at the Benny moment diagram for our beam, it looks something like this. So here's the 1.6p which we just found to be 60 kilonewton meters. So that's our Benny moment diagram. We know that the elastic limit is 50 kilonewton meters. So at 50, which will be say around there and there, so that's 50 and 50. If we were to drop down, this region in here is now plastic because the moment falls is above the um, elastic limit. And this region in here and here is elastic. Okay, so that was, that's what it means by elastic plastic. We have both type, type, types of moment occurring. Now, just to take you back to our formulas for the moment, because we're going to be using those now, we found that for cut one, 